Welcome back to Theme Park Wizards. Today, we are going to do a full POV breakdown of the Velocicoaster. If you're wondering why I didn't do this on the opening or the past order preview days, because I thought um, I wasn't sure if you can record on this Friday. Universal usually asks um, people to take those videos down, but these videos have been up for a couple weeks now, so I figured it's okay. It was allowed, so now we can break this down. Super awesome. I broke down the queue in another video. I'll put that link on the top right hand corner. But let's go ahead and break break this down. I'll link the full video with sound in the description below if you want to hear the screams and roars of the raptors. But uh, just for purposes now, we're going to go ahead and mute it so we can break this down. So let's go ride the Velocicoaster virtually. First, so here we go. Look at that it's super cool cage. First, look at the seats. They're just again the Velocicoaster trains are just gorgeous. I cannot wait. And nice little fog and mist effects. This is where again the Chris Pratt little pre-show happens or not pre show the one show scene. They're like, hold on, guys, the rappers are there. They are to the right hand side. He's not filming it, but the rappers are racing. They're trying to get out. They're trying to get out. And then blasts. Look at this. Zero to 50 miles per hour, that launch again, right into the Emmerman roll. Look at that. Gorgeous. And look at the rock, but look at those near misses. Let's talk about head choppers. The seat is right up. The seat almost hits the rock work. This part, again, only 50 miles per hour, but it still goes kind of quickly. It looks much looks faster on-ride than off-ride, which is quite interesting. And I love the foliage there, very prehistoric. And here, quickly into the second launch, the 70 mile per hour top hat. Look at that. What a gorgeous view. Look at that gorgeous view of Islands of Adventure. And look at that drop. It's actually not as bad. It doesn't look as bad as this from the ground. That DLG stalk looking gorgeous. This 540 degree helix right on the water. God, it's just such a gorgeous coast. And look at it, it's calling. But here, it is not stopping. It's incredible. Look at this Mosasaurus roll. I still wish, right there is where I wish a water effect would happen. Like, maybe like some fountain spring up or something. I feel like some kind of element should happen right there. And then, of course, it and just as quickly as it started, it ends. Wow, it's a pretty big coaster, but still, because it goes so fast, it's only two and a half minutes. That's incredible. And... Nothing. I was wondering if there's gonna be any kind of show scene here, but no. There's back in the cage, right in the raptor paddock. Sorry. And there's nothing. There's no kind of raptor chasing. I think there is a like a, a thing of the raptors actually chasing it, but you guys don't get to see it. And that is the Velocicoaster. It looks gorgeous. What did you guys think? I think that's fantastic. Um, I. Cannot wait, though, to eventually see it for myself in person. But uh, let me know if you guys have ridden the Velocicoaster. If you have, let me know your experience in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates and Universal and Disney updates specifically, or most likely. And as always, have a fantastic, fantastic day.